so today is my children's school close so both of them are at home so morning time they didn't have proper breakfast i mean heavy breakfast so i'm giving them early lunch because morning both of them had just loco choco pie two two pieces and boiled egg two two pieces so it's not even 12 it's 11 30 now i'm giving them lunch so today i cooked something in a very unusual way maybe many people cook it that way i don't know but uh, i cooked rajma rice for my babies rajma is something which my daughter loves so i cooked rajma so today i cooked rajma in a different way little bit twist in my cooking so same thing if you cook in a different way it will taste different so the mode of cooking the main thing oil oil i use different maybe many people cook in this way i don't know but uh, i tried something different always mostly i try to cook it in a different style i cooked it in coconut oil i put onion ginger garlic paste little bit black pepper because winter has started and mostly children get cold cough so for that reason i add little bit green chilies i can't add because if they see it they won't eat it they don't like spicy food so uh, curry leaves i have added to enhance the taste then little bit dhania powder zira powder salt haldi uh, i have also added fresh coriander so it's very delicious This is what my baby's rice plate looks like. Rajma, plain rice. I have cut a lemon piece, onion, cucumber, carrot. Now I will sprinkle a little bit black salt, which they like. And a spoon must be added here to feed them. So now thali looks perfect with the spoon. And I have sprinkled black salt all over the onion, cucumber, carrot so now I will feed them Time to mix up everything. So I have uh, added one large tomato also which I forgot to mention in this recipe what I have added. I have added a tomato also. So I feed them from one plate only. Both of them will have from this plate only. First spoon in their mouth. So let's see how much time they take. Daughter is done with her first spoon. She is drinking water. So today they are sticking to the mobile. Since morning they were studying. I gave them to do their studies. So they were studying. So now after shower only. They, the little one took the mobile. And he is watching something on YouTube. Someone asked her what you had for lunch. Then she replied in a very beautiful manner, my daughter. What she said in exactly in Nepali is Mami ko mitu mitu hadbara, mitu mitu rajma. Means uh, with my sweet hands she had sweet rajma. Sweet doesn't mean sweet. It she what she meant is that delicious, tasty. She loves it. Whatever I cook, they mostly love it. Only chilies must not be there. Um, so this is simple life that we are living. Very simple life. But happiness, peace of mind is there. My babies are growing up in a very healthy environment. So I'm trying my best. 
whatever possible from my part and doing it for them. This is life. Life will bring you to unexpected situation. You never think, you can never imagine. You want your children to have a very good life, very beautiful life, very perfect life. But it's okay. Her, their mother is their mother also, Papa also. And my son calls me Mommy Pa, which I love to hear. He addresses me in that way. So, everything is not possible. So we are trying to adjust with the life that we are living. Maybe three are trying, though my children are very young to understand anything. They are very young. At this young age, they are seeing the harsh realities of life. Life is so cruel to them. But I pray that God may never be cruel to us, especially to my children. May God always be kind to my children. They have seen enough. Now I don't want any kind of nonsense for my babies. A woman, a wife, a lady will tolerate anything and everything. But a mother won't tolerate. She will tolerate all the insult, humiliation, everything. But when it's about her babies, no, she won't forgive. The people who made my babies suffer. Because for children, love must be like oxygen. They must not struggle. They must not suffer for love. Love must be available. So that's it. We are trying. We are living a life. We want to live. Let's hope I can bring up more videos for you. Where I can share my stories painful stories, embarrassing stories about my life. There are many episodes which I will share with you, which may make you shocked or think, was it that possible that it happened? So many things I will share with you. So let's I will see you in my next video where I will come up with many more things. My experience with life. What I thought. What I got. So, hope to come up with new video very soon.